Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace Egypt's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Samah Shukri, who is currently on a visit to the country. Mr. Shukri delivered a letter from the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi concerned with the fraternal bilateral relations in addition to the latest regional and international developments. The Egyptian Minister also has also conveyed to His Majesty the King the greetings of President al Sisi and his aspirations of further development for the Kingdom of Bahrain under its wise leadership. His Majesty the King instructed Mr. Shukri to convey to the Egyptian president his greetings and sincere wishes of further advancement and prosperity to the Egyptian people. He also affirmed the deeper rooted ties between the two countries and his pride of the elevated levels these relations have witnessed due to the keenness of both countries to push bilateral cooperation and coordination in manners that serve the two nations. His Majesty went on to note uh, that these brotherly visits contribute to the march of cooperation on all levels, particularly in these critical times. The region is going through that call for the collaboration of efforts in order to face these dangers and challenges. He also expresses appreciation and pride in Egypt's continuous support for the Kingdom of Bahrain, citing the pivotal role Egypt has played in defending the Arab causes, affirming that a strong Egypt is a source of strength to all Arab countries. For his part, the Egyptian Minister of Foreign Affairs expresses thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his constant keenness to enhance the bilateral ties. He also commended Bahrain's stances towards Egypt and its honorable role in supporting the march of Arab cooperation. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at the Safriya Palace the Kingdom of Kuwait's ambassador to Italy, Sheikh Ali Khalid Al Jabr Al Sabah, who is on an official visit to the kingdom to participate in the event of This Is Bahrain, as well as a number of officials and participants in the event. His Majesty welcomed the ambassador and the organizers of the event, affirming his pride in the outstanding and brotherly relations between Bahrain and Kuwait, which are witnessing further growth and development. His Majesty hailed the role of the ambassador and his contributions to the success of the event, which was held in Italy recently, thanking him for his cooperation and efforts, which stems from the deep-rooted ties between the two countries. His Majesty commended the success of the event in presenting the achievements of the kingdom and its status and delivering the modern image of the kingdom to the world. He also stated the importance of holding such events in enhancing the presence of the kingdom and the other Gulf Corporation Council countries in the global field and their role in spreading the culture of dialogue, coexistence and tolerance between all world people. He expressed gratitude for the efforts of the organizers of the event for their hard work, wishing them success. On his part, the Kuwaiti ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty for his warm welcome and for his role in developing Bahraini-Kuwaiti ties and solidifying them, praising this is Bahrain event and the success it achieved. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at the Ghdabiya Palace the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Arab Republic of Egypt, Samah Shukri. His Royal Highness urged to enhance and revive Arab coordination and uh, to activate cooperation between Arab countries, stating that the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and Egypt are essential pillars in the Arab world. The Egyptian Foreign Affairs Minister conveyed the invitation of the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi and the Egyptian Prime Minister Sharif Ismail to visit their country. His Royal Highness hailed the deep-rooted relations between the kingdom and Egypt and the keenness of the two parties to develop them under their wise leaderships and governments. The Prime Minister stated that Egypt carries a political weight regionally and globally, noting the keenness of the kingdom to develop cooperation and coordination with Egypt in various fields. The Egyptian Foreign Minister conveyed to His Royal Highness the stance of his country's president and government that is supporting security and stability in the kingdom and the keenness on enhancing cooperation between them.
The Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, chaired the traffic police meeting today, attending the education attended by the Education Minister Dr. Majid Al Naimi, the Works Municipalities and Urban Planning Minister Isam bin Abdullah Khalaf, and the Minister of Transportation and Communications Engineer Kamal bin Ahmed Muhammad. The Interior Minister affirmed the importance of continued efforts to strengthen traffic safety and praised the decline or the decline of traffic accident deaths with a rate of. 48.8% within the past year, which reflects the efforts exerted by the General Directorate of Traffic. The Council discussed a study regarding the importance of a study on the importance of activating the General Committee of Road Safety by working on the follow-up and implementations of the recommendations issued by the Traffic Council and coordinating with other agencies in this regard, in addition to following up on the execution of strategic plans concerned with traffic safety. In this regard, Interior Minister and uh, Council members stressed the importance of activating this committee. The Council also reviewed a study prepared by the General Directorate of Traffic on awareness programs in educational institutions that include the main reasons for traffic accidents from 2014 until 2016. The Education Minister affirmed the importance of traffic culture among children and directed to hold a meeting between the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Interior and Ministry of Education employees in order to provide the required traffic curriculum materials and contribute to the promotion of traffic safety. The council approved to take the procedural measures in the sale of premium numbers in a decision to be issued later regulating this matter. The interior minister praised a briefer on a comprehensive uh, consultancy study which included 52 actions in order to formulate a strategy to ease traffic jams and was referred to the Council of Traffic's Technical Committee. Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah expressed appreciation to the council members for their efforts and pointed out the importance of field presence and uh, the level of readiness around uh, to monitor traffic. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met today the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Arab Republic of Egypt, Samah Shukri, who was on an official visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain. They discussed the fraternal bilateral relations and ways to further expand them in all fields, as well as reviewed a number of Arab regional and international issues. Sheikh Khalid welcomed the Egyptian Foreign Minister and expressed pride in the depth and strength of bilateral relations between Bahrain and Egypt at all levels under the directives of lead leadership of the two countries. He also also uh, praised uh, Egypt's supportive stances towards the security and prosperity of Bahrain. Sheikh Khaled affirmed Bahrain's unwavering support and solidarity with Egypt, which he said plays an important role in uh, the promotion of uh, joint Arab action as well as its advocacy of the Arab interests in view of its international legacy. And ongoing efforts in facing the challenges and risks that uh, threaten countries in the region. Mr. Shukri expressed his pleasure to visit Bahrain, which he said comes within the framework of continued coordination and consultation between the two countries towards various issues. He praised the strong ties between the two countries and people and the progress of these relations to achieve their aspirations and bolster joint interests. Mr. Shukri praised the highly appreciated efforts of Bahrain to support and bolster relations between Arab countries uh, to maintain their interests and promote uh, their position. He affirmed Egypt's supportive position towards Bahrain in all situations, wishing the kingdom and its people further progress and prosperity. The Kingdom of Bahrain witnessed today the launch of the first visually impaired printer, the uh, Brilo 650 SF. The event uh, took place in the Saudi Bahraini Institute for the Blind. The uh, Brilo 650 SF is the newest edition of the fully automated uh, Braille book production system, which will benefit all the visually impaired citizens of Bahrain. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid Naimi, was attending uh, this event and affirmed that the launch of such a printer, which is in collaboration with one of the international companies comes within the framework of the strong support given to the educational process by the leadership of this country, particularly in providing the appropriate education for various categories of people with special needs. He pointed out that the new printing press will elevate the academic achievements of the visually impaired students who are either affiliated with the Saudi Bahraini Institute or public schools. He also added that Bahrain is regarded a pioneer in adopting this advanced printer and has recently held a training workshop for a number of educators from the GCC countries, Jordan and Palestine, to provide them with the skills of running the printing press in preparation for circulation to these countries at a later stage. 
For his part, the chairman of Saudi Bahrain Institute, Mohammed Al Jodar, stated that the Braillo 650SF is the fastest Braille printer worldwide with the most quality for its capability of printing 2,000 copies in an hour, in addition to its ability of, continu or of continuous operation for more than 20 hours. Al Jodar praised the support the institute receives from the Ministry of Education in regards to all that develops the services provided to the visually impaired. The Chief of Public Security General Tariq bin Hassan Al Hassan launched the new uh, Geographical Security System project in a ceremony held in the Public Security Officers Club in the presence of senior officers and specialists. During the ceremony, the Public Security Chief was briefed on the update of the Geographical Security System and the benefits of the technical development. General Tariq hailed the support of the Interior Minister and his directive to develop all security sectors and to provide high status security services. He noted that uh, the project will improve the speed of response to emergency reports and the treatment of them according to the correct standards and during a record time. The chief of public security affirmed uh, the importance of creating security scenarios to measure readiness and to qualify the officers working in the new system. He urged to proceed with the implementation of a developmental strategy in all security services and to provide them with the latest technological systems, stressing the importance of providing everything that offers the ability to anticipate crime and terrorist acts. The Chief of Geographical Security System Division, Lieutenant Colonel Abdullah Al Khalifa, Abdullah Al Khalifa explained that the launch of the new project will provide the ability to apply first aid measures according to the latest medical standards through telephone calls. French Week 2017 launches today with a packed event program. More in this report with Shogam Hamed. The fourth edition of French Week was officially opened today by the French ambassador at a press conference held at the residence. Held under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the week-long celebration titled So French embraces the familiar as well as the less familiar aspects of French culture. We are very happy about the participation of a French region with a French senator from Alsace, which is the eastern province of France, which is extremely dynamic in terms of economy, SMEs, tourism. We'll have uh, different chapters in this French week, including gastronomy with Alsace as well. A chef is coming from Strasbourg, lifestyle, with uh, Christian Le Boutin, the shoe designer, worldwide famous, coming uh, for a charity dinner. Uh, technology, environment, different workshop on education as well. So this will be, you know, the panel of the French Week is going to be diverse and, and very, very rich with many intervenants and B2B as well aspects in, uh, in some investment uh, workshop. The week is packed with a variety of events all revolving around the French culture. I'm very, very happy to come over, you know, to uh, uh, show and to make people discover some new destination like Alsace for example but also we're gonna have uh, this evening uh, a fantastic exhibition called Imagine France a fantastical voyage uh, we will visit France in the, during this exhibition through the eyes of a young French artist we will show you different uh, regions Bahrain French Week begins today and will go on until the 23rd of January for Bahrain News I'm Shogun Mohammed. A very good evening, you're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Hiba Abdel Ghaffar. Bahrain Boost announced the listing of four issues by the Central Bank of Bahrain in the Treasury bills market, worth a total of 201 million Bahraini dinars, with discount rates ranging between 2.15% and 2.32% for three to six months. With the listing of those issues, the total number of Treasury bills in short-term Islamically Sukuk listed at Bahrain Boost became five issues, with a total value of 591 million Bahraini dinars. The boost aims at enhancing cash liquidity in the local and foreign banks and institutions dealing in this market and providing investors with more investment opportunities. Now taking a look at the stock market. 
Bahrain All Shares Index closed today at 1,233.78 points, marking an increase of 4.4 points above the previous closing. The increase was in the commercial banks and industrial sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial bank sector, representing 47.6% of total shares. 81 equity transactions took place with a volume of 4,057,859 shares, worth 772,813 Bahraini dinars. The Promotion, Exhibitions and Conferences Sector Committee of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry held a press conference today to announce that an exhibition on form of common Arab-African business will be held in Bahrain at the start of next year. Daniel Deporte was there and brings us this report. Bahrain has been chosen to host an exhibition and forum of common Arab-African business at the start of next year due to its strategic location, competitive business environment and deep relationships with GCC, Arab and African nations. The event is being organized by the Promotion, Exhibitions and Conferences Sector Committee of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the BCCI, in partnership with the Arab Women Investors Union and Bahrain Businesswomen Society. I'm really today happy, very happy to be here in Bahrain because we announced the cooperation between the Arab Women Investors Union and the Chamber of Commerce uh, in Bahrain and also the Business Association, the, women, Arab, uh, the Bahraini Business Women Association we work all together. And um, we are here today to start the preparation and the collaboration between all of us for uh, May put it in activation, the initiative we took uh, last March and we presented to His Excellency the Prime Minister Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, um, which um, the main aim of it is to create a joint Arab-African uh, collaboration through the economic part. The exhibition and forum will attract high-level business owners, investors and decision-makers from 20 to 30 countries in the wider region and offer consolidation, investment and partnership opportunities that should stimulate trade and boost the economies of all nations involved. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Danielle Deporto.